Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Down Gaming. My name is Joe, so I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, Jones, you're the man on the stick. I am. And we're playing Madden 20, the 49ers. 49 nights. 49 na Jonah na 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 There you go, I like yeah, that. Yeah, dude, I like it. I like that a lot. Yeah, I like uh, that you're the coach of the team. And I'm an owner. <laughs> it means nothing. <laughs> it does mean a lot to what me. What does it mean? I bought the team and I left to keep no, your job. <laughs> this game isn't in depth enough for you to start making like this deep rooted lore. <laughs> I love making lore. It's not really. like it's not like you see the coach of the team go home to his family and have a drink and like <laughs> pet his dog. If oh. I saw all of that stuff, I'd be like, oh, wow, look at me do all of that stuff. It's just like some arbitrary photo in the right-hand corner of the screen before the match <laughs> Hey, starts. they show you walking sometimes. Oh, yeah, they show me in the office on the phone. <laughs> yeah, dude, you're busy. I'm a glorified secretary. You're a busy man, dude. I'm, no, I'm not. <laughs> oh, my God, and he's on fire. This dude is ridiculously good in this game. Yeah, I'm glad he's good for you. I'm going to run for a billion yards. Uh, Jonas, we're men, right? I have a man piece. Yeah, yeah you. I've, I've heard. I've never seen it, but I, I believe lore, it exists. The lore is real about yeah. man piece. <laughs> it's funny how your penis is kind of like Jesus, because it's like, I, I just kind of believe it's real through faith. <laughs> right? <Okay. laughs> but I've never actually seen it or experienced its presence. Man, I'm agnostic, so like, I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, it's like, uh, I don't know, it's like oxygen for you then. Because <laughs> you need your penis to breathe. Yeah. I'm sorry, we're, we can't be talking about that off the jump. But you I do. You always do that, dude. <laughs> you would have said I have a man piece. Three <laughs> you said we're men. I said I have a man piece. Yes. Yeah. So who brought D up first? Just you. Saying. I brought up gender. You brought up sexual organ. Wow. Just okay. keeping anyway, it a buck. so we're men. So yeah, we're men, right? Yeah. So we like girls. I, I do. Okay. Congratulations. Very much so. Do you have like an outfit that would do it for you with a girl? Like uh, some examples: French maid, oh. school girl, cheerleader. Oh, like those things. Uh, a, a bathing suit, a micro bikini. What's a micro bikini? Those are like the ones that just kind of like cover cover up like just the bits and oh, nothing else. Oh, 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 like, like an uber skimpy. Bikini. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Any of those do it for you? Um. You like the school girl look? You look like the squirrel girl. Squirrel, squirrel girl. Squirrel guy. girl. Squirrel girl. <laughs> Can she be in a squirrel suit? Because <laughs> that, squirrel girl. If she's a squirrel girl, then. Squirrel. I mean, hey, yo, that's a thing too, Jonas. I know. Trust me. <laughs> and if that's your thing, um, hey, I'm not here to. Uh, like, I can't. Hate. I can't say that. Like, there's an outfit that I'm just like, it, like, a sexy are saying, nurse. Like, are you saying that, like, an outfit that, like, no matter who was in it, I'd be like, dang. I mean, it's just one that kind of, you know, it's it holds a higher regard in your own personal uh, feelings, I guess. Uh, your own personal opinion, you know, like, I really like a girl who wears a pleated skirt and long socks. Or I really like it when a girl dresses up like a little nurse with a nurse hat and gets a little syringe and says, I'm going to give you your shot, Mr. No, I don't Jonas. Know, I don't think, like, the outfit really ever does it for me. Like a little French maid that's like, ooh, let me dust that off yeah. for you. None of that. <laughs> I don't think so, man. I don't really think it works like that for me. Yeah, I don't. I don't. But it, it is a thing. It is a thing. Oh, no, it, abso it absolutely is a thing, for sure. But no, dude, I just never have been like... Like, yeah, like, some people are like, ooh, schoolgirl. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, like, depending. But, like, here's the thing. Depending who it is, like, a schoolgirl outfit on a girl can look really sexy. Okay, well, let's just say she's hot then, Jonathan. Since you always, <laughs> if she's hot, she's hot. It doesn't matter. Would you prefer a hot no, girl in a no, schoolgirl? No, no, or would you prefer a hot girl no, out of a no, schoolgirl? No, 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 no. I'm not, that's not what I'm saying. Okay. I'm not saying put a hot girl in a hot outfit and be, oh, she, oh, oh, lo and behold, she's hot. <laughs> but like, <laughs> I'm saying is that you have to keep the baseline even, and then we're only talking about the one additive here. If, it's if it was an curious. ugly girl in a schoolgirl outfit or an ugly girl in a nurse outfit, guess what? She's still ugly. 
So you keep the baseline. But what I'm saying is, it sometimes the outfit can accentuate, and you can find someone hotter in a certain outfit. Like here's here's a perfect example. Mm. If you find a girl that you think you personally think is very hot, put her in a potato sack. You may not think she's as hot. Yes, but I'm not into potato sack porn. (laughs) 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 So I guess we've discovered that that ain't my thing. Hey, here we sex. go. Here we go, Jonas. What's the outfit that would turn you most off with a female? I'll start. Crackhead. <laughs> <laughs> meth addict. For some reason, Jonas, I just don't find meth addicts hot. Wow, is it like is it like the source? Or is it the uh, <laughs> is, is it the, the source? <laughs> is it the <laughs> Is it the lack of teeth? <laughs> Uh, I think one thing that really turns me off about meth heads is the broken teeth, because then you never know what's going to happen if they get near your stuff. No. <laughs> it's in the swords. <laughs> so true, though, isn't it? I mean, yeah, I guess it probably is the source. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to ooze on me, girl. Sorry. All right. So wait. Okay. Fine. We're on. We're gonna stay kind of on the same track here. Okay. Are you freckles or not? Nah? Indifferent. Indifferent. I'm sorry. There is definitely a point where freckles make a difference. <laughs> well, well, yeah. If you're talking about the entire body is covered in freckles, like so thick that you can't even tell there's skin underneath. <laughs> Whoa! Is this a giant freckle? Yeah. <laughs> Just one like, freckle at this point. <laughs> All right, so now there's like there's like girls can get like the like I know girls even uh get tattooed freckles on their face. Oh yeah, I've seen, I've that. seen that. Yeah, and like it's something about like just having it like right there in your T zone where like I, I guess they think it's super cute. I don't really understand that, so it's not really my thing. Yeah, yeah. But something about like freckles like on the shoulders and upper chest kind of do it for me. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's not, I guess it's something I don't really pay much attention to. Leg freckles are okay. Like I, you know, honestly, I'm gonna be real right here. When, until you said freckles on the chest and legs, I never even like thought of. You it. never even contemplated it. No. Uh, it's funny. Uh, I used to actually call it uh, when I was a kid, and I didn't understand that those were freckles. I would call it like paprika dust. Paprika <laughs> dust. Because <laughs> it looked like somebody just like sprinkled paprika. On, on like their shoulders or on their face or on their and I don't know if that's racist or not I hope it's not <laughs> well how is that racist I don't know, because hey, guess who ain't getting freckles oh <laughs> yeah 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 so it's only my experience with uh Caucasians you know? yes Jonas <laughs> yes your words not mine well you know okay no I have seen black people with freckles though I guess if they're really light skinned. Well, yeah, I guess yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah you'd have to be light skinned, but like. Yeah, but I'm 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 black, man. <laughs> All right. I'm not talking about your freckles. Oh, no, I ain't got none. <laughs> if they're there, you ain't seeing them. <laughs> if there, you ain't seeing them. Yeah, that's for Jesus. sure. Um, but yeah, dude. I, yeah, freckles. I'm like, I'm. But like, okay, we've talked about this. Like, I'm very like, I don't have a thing. With a fit with women's physicality, I know. Essentially. I just keep digging though, because I'm I'm determined that there is one there. And I like long and that hair. You're not aware, long aware hair. of it. Like not even long hair. It it like as long as it's like there's length to the hair. Like yeah. if you got like shaved like shaved sides like a like like a like a man's traditional haircut, and that's as long as it is at the bottom. Like there isn't hair like actually hanging off your head. Like I'm not into that. Like so, those short pixie cuts and stuff. It's funny because uh, I just saw an adult film star who is basically shaved. Uh, she's not like skin bald, but it's like a buzz cut, like Justin Timberlake right, right, right. <laughs> type of like just. And I was like, hmm, am I into that? And I was like, not really. But I didn't think like it wasn't repugnant. Yeah, I'm not saying like I find like girls with short hair repulsive. But like if I have a pro- like if there's one thing that like for some like I'm always been attracted to longer hair. Like, but I'm not saying it has to be like past your shoulders or like any of that sort of stuff. Like, funny enough, Jonas, I actually do have a thing for girls with short hair. Ever since like I was a kid and I, I was in love with Halle Berry, mm, and she had that short hair. Mm-hmm. And like that's the exact haircut I'm talking about that I do not find attractive. Like that I'm short. Aware. And like, but not saying that Halle Bar- Berry isn't attractive. She's a beautiful woman. I remember when we went to uh, we went to that uh, at strip club. 
Yeah, me and Jonas are adults. We went to the strip club, and then there was that one girl who decided to sit on your lap and try to get you to like. Oh, I remember that. And she, she had kept short, coming back. Yeah, and she and she had like a kind of like a nerdy girl personality. Yeah, she was cool. Yeah. And she didn't have like excessive tattoos, and she had just like she was like just good people. She wasn't. Yeah, she was fine to talk to. Absolutely. Yeah, and she had short hair, and I was like, Jonas, man, I was like. You got this chick. You're not gonna get a lap dance from her. He's like, "No, nah, I'm good." And I'm like, <laughs> "What do you mean you're good?" <laughs> and I was like, "Okay, fam. Well, I'm about to take her." I'm like, go ahead. <laughs> and I, I was like, "All did. you, dude, take and her I out." 100% she just did. wanted some money, so like, no, she got it from me. Yeah, she exactly, dude. I went with the short haired chick and the super thick white chick that was there. Joe, you didn't get a lap dance at all. I don't think, did you? I don't know. I don't think you did. Jonas just goes there to nurse a drink. To nurse a drink. <laughs> you go there for the conversation. <laughs> I go for the conversation. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Yuck. I feel the same way that the girls at the club feel about guys who come to the strip club for conversation. Like, get the F out of here. <laughs> You're just effing it up for everybody else. You're sitting up here. She working her mouth way too much and not that body. All right. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm not a, uh, but I'm not like a, like, I mean, oh, but don't get me wrong. I find chicks physically attractive, but like, yeah. I'm not a womanizer either. I'm just saying if we're going, look, if you're like, hey, I'm going to the strip club. Nobody's like, oh, you must just be looking for great conversation tonight. <laughs> they're like, they're like, I hope you get some good conversation uh, while you're there. <laughs> I'm going to look at some edits. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm trying to look at some edits. I feel you. Yeah. So if I'm going there with that intent, then let me go ahead and intend away. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, dude. We haven't but been we haven't been in quite a while. No, we, it's been a while. God, I haven't been. Got I, it. I do want to go to that, that one. new one. <laughs> like, I want to see what this be like. I don't want people are going to be like this. Is all these guys do. It is not. It no, is, it's been, dude. It's, it's been, been over, um, over a year. Oh, yeah. it has been definitely yeah, over a year. Yeah, 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 well, because yeah. like, let's see. It's prob it's probably been close to two, to be honest. Well, uh, I can't even remember the last time we went. It was uh, definitely the one off the freeway. Yeah, yeah. But I just can't remember when. I remember we had to take an Uber. Yeah. Was oh, wasn't it New Year's? No, we didn't go on New Year's because they always. I think they always. It was a holiday, wasn't it? Was it a holiday? Because I feel like it was. It was like a day where we're like, I don't even know who's gonna be here. We it talked been, about going around like Thanksgiving or, or Christmas. was it Christmas? It might have been one of those. We talked, but we didn't go. We've talked about going a few times, but we never we haven't went. I remember the last time we went, it had to be around Christmas time or it had to be around New Year's time because I remember on the screen on the back they had like pictures of girls wearing like Santa hats and like some Christmas theme music but to some extent. But it was probably 2 years ago. Yo, yeah, it was a long. I'm not saying it was last Christmas, but I'm just saying it was a long we, time. Cuz we cuz I dated my ex for 9 months and we didn't go didn't, any no, time during no, when I was dating her. No. no. Yeah, it was definitely the first year I was. Here. And then I've been, me and her have been broken up for like over six months. Yeah. So it's been more than fifteen months ago. Yeah. Honestly, um, I've I've gone a couple times when I was in Florida. I remember uh, I had a friend come down, and of course I had to show out big. <laughs> just like I just like gave him, I just like gave him a hundred dollars. I was like, hey, get all the lap dance you want, man. He had like six girls on him at one point in time. It was a beautiful thing. Man. Yeah, dude. Right. I feel good about that. I feel you should. I think, yeah. I mean, look, there's nothing wrong with going and supporting these women. They got to go to college. They're, I mean, that's what they're there for. Exactly. They got. Like, they aren't there because wow. they don't that's want people. That's what they're there for is a little No, off. no. What I mean is, like, they went. They work there because that's what they are like. I'm doing this. That's what I'm here for. It, <laughs> when you say that's what I'm here for, you make it sound like this is all the potential they have. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jesus, it's like it's like saying somebody works at McDonald's. That's they're there to serve. That's what they're there for to serve you food. <laughs> it's this not, is the reason you were born. Dude, I didn't Give me say, my Big Mac. I did not say that. Shake your ass. Wow. No. Here's a dollar. They have the expectation that you're gonna come there and yeah. give them money to put their body in your face. Oh my god. <laughs> Like that's the that's what they signed up for with that Whoa. job. Oh yeah, 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 that's true. That's true. Like that it's not like nice. they're gonna show up. They're like, oh my god, I feel like I'm being sexualized. Like, 
that's what your jo- that's what the job you chose to do is. And, and honestly, that is kind of like the the weird point about going to a strip club is that we are trained, especially today and in recent history, we're, we've been we've been trained not to just like sexualize women to right, that extent. Right, exactly. And like you just go there and you're almost expected to, but still remain to the certain like level of respect. Right, exactly. Like yeah, you just can't like, go around uh, smacking butts. That'd in be the strip like, uh, yeah, you can't go in there and be like crude. <clears throat> um, but it's like that'd be like, uh, like you're talking to like a sex worker online, like a cam girl or something, and like, and you're like, I want you to like do whatever, and she's like, How dare you? I'm not yeah. here for your pleasure. <laughs> like. <laughs> I am like, you will respect right. me. Right. Like, I, yeah, you got to respect her, of course. Well, not about I the respect. Yeah. It's, but yeah, it's like it's like you go to a strip. I mean, like that's what they expect to happen. You're there, that's their expectation. Do you, do you feel weird, like staring though, in that in that setting? Like, are you supposed to stare? Is it cool if I stare? Am at, I t- at the strip club, I do not feel weird staring. I guess because, like, especially if they're up on stage, that's what they're doing. Yeah. They're performing. Yeah. Um. Now, if like she's, she's like walking around, sitting, sitting with another customer, and you're just like glaring at her, that seems kind of weird. Like, <laughs> I mean, is it though? But, but you need. But if you're, you're showing interest. But if you're interested in getting a dance, you need to make eye contact and be like. Like almost like raise your hand a little bit, like so they're like, oh, yo, somebody needs to write a manual on this a strip club <laughs> manual. Yeah, we wow, could, we could start on it. You you do it. We'll put it on Amazon. <laughs> we'll self publish it. Sounds like a great idea. Like people will be like, I know all this without reading a two hundred page book. <laughs> 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 Anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to uh, like and subscribe. If you've already done that. <laughs> Send your grandma a Christmas card in July. She won't know what's going on anyway. For Jonas. TNT Dynamite. Catch you on the next one. We are. Rip.